so this is for a quick demo on Windows authentication for SQL managed instance, uh, how it works. So uh, this feature is very uh, easy to configure and you do not have to make any changes at the customer uh, uh, Active Directory level, so it's all about establishing the Kerberos authentication with the Azure Active Directory, and and there are few changes in the portal for SQL managed instance that you have to do, and then you are all good to use the Windows authentication for managed instance. And uh, we have two flows that you can use: either the modern interactive flow or the incoming trust based flow. Based on the client machine that customer is trying to connect, you have to establish one of these uh, workflows, and uh, we have all the steps documented in our uh, documentation, and you can. Create the Kerberos proxy for the Windows client machines uh, with the Azure Active Directory, and you can start uh, connecting to the managed instance. So, based on what kind of client that you are trying to use, like Azure Active Directory joined or a hybrid Active Directory joined or just a domain joined client, based on that, you have to establish the workflow and you can connect to the managed instance using Windows authentication. So, like I said, let me quickly show you the managed instance. In the portal, so if you see, I have my SQL managed instance here, which has this uh, uh, assigned service principle. This is a system assigned service principle, which is nothing but an SPN that is configured. Uh, it is set to on. This is required for the Kerberos authentication to work. So once you configure this uh, service principles for the managed instance, now you can locate the managed instance in your Active Directory using service principles, right? So that is how the, uh, the native Kerberos authentication works with the service principles. So once you enable this, you also have to provide an admin consent for the managed instance in the Azure Active Directory in order to uh, provide the uh, authentication uh, tickets, right? So now let me take you to my VM where I have. Uh, uh, so this is the VM that I'm going to use. Uh, you can use uh, many commands that that are available in the documentation for troubleshooting purpose. So the first thing that I would like to do is quickly check what kind of client machine that I'm logged into. So I can use this DSRS command to check that. And if you see this machine is a domain joined. So this is a domain joined VM and my domain is AAD SQL MI. And uh, if you go up and I can see that this is also an Azure AD joined machine. That means this is like an hybrid uh, VM that I have. So for a hybrid VM, uh, you know that uh, I can have this modern interactive flow configured and my authentication just should go just like that. So I will also quickly show you the Kerberos tokens that are created uh, that are cached so you can uh, get the list of Kerberos tokens on the client machine just by running this uh, klist command. So if you run this klist command, it will list all the uh, Kerberos tokens and you can see that for the managed instance, you also have the Kerberos tokens that are cached on the on the machine. So now this is my management studio and this is my uh, managed instance. Now I I chose the authentication as Windows authentication, which was not working before. But now if you see here is the magic, I can simply connect to the managed instance using Windows authentication. And not only this, you can also launch the tools um, like profile or extended events. Uh, any tool that you want to use authentication type as Windows authentication, you can still connect to the those tools as well with Windows authentication. So here is a magic for you and uh, you can also test this on a on a machine that is not a domain joined machine and uh, verify that. So I also want to show one more thing like if you see uh, how we are getting this work is because of the domain. Uh, the Kerberos uh, trust that is established with the Azure Active Directory. So I'm trying to verify my Kerberos token. So if you see here, you have a PowerShell commandlet that can be used to set and get the Azure AD Kerberos. Uh, and if you see here, uh, my domain that is AAD SQL MI.net is established a Kerberos uh, trust with the Azure Active Directory. So if you see here, the trust display is Azure AD KDC service at trust display. So with this Kerberos, I was able to connect uh, 
to my managed instance using Windows authentication. So you can also verify your uh, group policy, local group policy uh, to check uh, whether you have configured the Hello Kerberos token during the login uh, or not. And once that is done, you are all good to go. Uh, 